everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the waffle stitch beanie. And if you are joining me from the wonderful hats crochet along, this is week three uh, of that crochet along and all the details for it can be found in the description of this video. In the description of the video, you'll also find the free written crochet pattern for this waffle stitch beanie as well. Today for this project, you are going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, as well as about 200 yards of a worsted weight yarn. Today I'm going to be using the Patton's Canadiana yarn uh, in fool's gold color, but you can use any worsted weight yarn you would like. You're just going to need about 200 yards of it. And as well, if you'd like to add a pom pom to the top, either a yarn pom pom or a faux fur, such as this one here, you're going to need one of those as well. This hat uh, does fit uh, an adult and it has a fairly snug fit around um, the circumference of it measures about 20 to 21 inches. So thank you again for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out some of the other videos if you like this hat. You'll definitely want to check out the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along playlist and uh, some of the other mini uh, crochet beanies I have. So uh, let's grab our hooks and our yarn and we'll get started. Now this hat is worked from the bottom up, so we're going to start down here at the brim. For my brim, I have used a slip stitch ribbing, which I'm going to demonstrate here in a second. If you are not a fan of slip stitches for this brim, you are welcome to use either a single crochet or a half double crochet instead of the slip stitch. The other thing you should know about this brim is that it is worked in rows where the rest of the hat is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and using our five millimeter crochet hook, we're going to make a foundation chain of eight chains. Once you have your foundation chain, you're going to count in to the second chain from your hook. There's one and two. And into that second chain from your hook, you're going to work a slip stitch. You're then going to slip stitch in each chain all the way across. You will have a total of seven slip stitches. Again, if you would like a wider brim, you're welcome to chain as many chains as you would like or a more narrow one. You can chain as many as you'd like uh, for, this, for this brim. Once you have slip stitched in each stitch across, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and we're now going to work in the back loops only. So here I'm looking at the tops of my stitches. This is my chain stitch right here. And then if I look at the tops of my stitches, I see this nice little V here. To work in the back loop only, you're going to work in the horizontal bar of that V that is the furthest away from you. And you're going to work under that loop only. So if I put my loop back on my hook, I'm going to insert my hook under that back horizontal bar only and I'm going to slip stitch or single crochet or half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. And what this is going to do is it's going to create our ribbed look. So slip stitch in each back loop only all the way across. When you come to the end, you're going to chain one, turn your work and you're going to repeat. So working in that back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. As you keep going, it's going to create your ribbed look. Which you can kind of see coming here, it's going to have nice stretch to it. You are going to repeat that row, so the chain one, turn, slip stitch, in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. 
you're going to repeat that row until your work from the beginning measures approximately 19 inches. When it does, meet me back here and we're going to join our band together and continue on with the body of the hat. Once you have your band uh, measuring about 19 inches, you're going to want to join your two short ends together. So what you're going to do is without twisting it, you're going to fold your band across. And now working through both thicknesses, we are going to work in the back loops only and slip stitch across. So uh, you're going to go ahead and just chain one and then working in the back loop only of that first stitch and then across on the other piece in the back loop only, insert your hook and you're going to slip stitch. So just like you did if you did the slip stitch brim. Into your next stitch, back loop only on one side, back loop only on the other side and slip stitch. This is just going to create a nice strong seam. So back loop only, back loop only, and slip stitch. Do that all the way across and you're going to have your seven slip stitches. And then there's no need to fasten off. Once you come to the end, you're going to turn it right side out and you'll have your seam there. Okay. Now, once you've done that, we're going to now start working around this long edge and uh, we're going to, from here on end, work our hats in rounds. So the first thing you're going to do for this first round is chain one and we're now going to work 81 half double crochet stitches all the way around. If it helps, you can place a stitch marker down here at one end. You can work 40 on one side, one in the middle, and 40 across the other side. You just want to have your 81 stitches worked evenly. So 81 half double crochet stitches. There's no uh, really nice place to put your stitches. So I'm just coming down a little bit into the brim, inserting my hook and working that half double crochet. You're going to do that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you'll join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Do not turn your work. Once you have worked your 81 half double crochet stitches all the way around your brim, you join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. I'll just show you that here. So join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to chain one and we're going to work a double crochet into that first stitch and into each stitch all the way around. So simply double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to that first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Once you have worked your double crochet stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the first stitch. For round three, we're now going to start working some of that waffle stitch texture. So what you're going to do for round three is chain one, and we're going to start by working a back post double crochet around each of the first two stitches. 
So to work your back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook into the back of your work and insert your hook around the post of the first stitch, working from right up through the front and then back down through the left. You're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to do the same around the next stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook to the back of your work, and insert your hook from the back to the front, around the post, and out through the back again of the next stitch. Yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So those are your first two back post double crochet stitches. Into the next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet stitch. So just into the top of the next stitch where you would normally work your stitch, work a double crochet. We're then going to repeat that over the next three stitches. So first, back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. There's one, and two, and then double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Back post, double crochet, around each of the next two stitches. And double crochet into the next. Repeat all the way around. When you come to that first stitch, you'll join with a slip stitch. Once you come to the end of your round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round four, you're going to chain one, and this time we're going to work a double crochet into each of the first two stitches. So double crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then into the next stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet. To work a front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, and then insert your hook from the front through to the back, around the post of the next stitch, and out through the front again. Yarn over and pull your loop through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. You're now going to repeat that double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Front post double crochet around the next. So yarn over, bring your hook to the front of your work, insert your hook from the right, from the front, around the post, out the other side, yarn over, draw up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So double crochet in each of the next two stitches and front post double crochet around the next stitch. Front post, or double crochet in each of the next two stitches and front post double crochet in the next. Repeat that all the way around and when you come back to your first stitch 
you will join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of your round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. So this is what your hat should look like thus far. For now, uh, for the next rounds through five through nine, you're going to repeat those last two rounds for a total of four more times. So repeat rounds uh, three and four, four more times. That round three was the chain one and you started by working two back post double crochet stitches. And then your round four where you started off by working two double crochet stitches. So repeat those two rounds uh, four more times and then you're going to repeat your round two, so where you start with those back post double crochet stitches, you're going to repeat that one more time. So this is for rounds five through to ten. Repeat rounds three and four, four more times, and then repeat your round uh, three one more time. At that point, you can meet me back here and your waffle stitch texture will have grown a little bit. Meet me back here and we're going to start the decrease for the hat. So now once you have worked uh, through to round 10, you're going to have a pattern, a hat that looks like this. Your brim is down here. We have all this gorgeous waffle stitch texture and we've ended on a round three up here at the top. You'll have joined with a slip stitch and we're now going to start our decrease. So we're going to start the crown of our hat. For round 11, you're going to start by chaining one and we're going to double crochet two together. To double crochet two stitches together, you're going to start by yarning over Insert your hook into that first stitch, the same stitch as joining, yarn over and draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two of those loops. We then want to join this other stitch. So we're going to yarn over again, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. You now have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two loops. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That is your double crochet two together. This is our chain stitch here. After you've double crocheted two together, you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. We're now going to repeat. Double crochet the next two stitches together. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops left, yarn over and pull through all three. Your front post two together. Front, uh, sorry, your double crochet two together. Front post double crochet around the next stitch and then repeat. Double crochet two stitches together and front post double crochet around the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around and then when you come to your first stitch, you'll join with a slip stitch into that first stitch.
at the end of round 11, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And this is what it will look like. For round 12, you're going to chain one. We're now going to work a back post double crochet around the first stitch. And our first stitch is that double crochet two together. So we want to work our back post double crochet around the entire thing. So you're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the back of your work, insert your hook from the back through to the front, around the whole post of that stitch, and out through the other side. Yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so you've worked your back post double crochet around the post of that entire stitch you're then going to double crochet into the next stitch and repeat we're going to back post double crochet around the entire double crochet two together and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Back post, double crochet, around the double crochet two together, and double crochet into the next stitch. Back post, double crochet, and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of your round 12, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're now going to chain one and for round 13, you're going to work front post double crochet stitches but you're only going to work them around the double crochet stitches in the row below. So they're going to be front post, double crochet, two together. At the end of round 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. We're now going to work some front post, uh, two together double crochet stitches, but we're going to be working those only around the double crochet stitches down below. So you're going to chain one, skip that first back post double crochet, and then around the next double crochet stitch, uh, yarn over, insert your hook around the post of that stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's the first leg of our front post double crochet two together. You're going to skip the stitch in between and then around the next double crochet work the next leg of your front post two together. So yarn over around the post of that next double crochet stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. That's your front post uh, double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that. So skip the next back post double crochet. Work the first leg of your front post double crochet two together around the next double crochet stitch. Skip the next back post and then around the next double crochet work the second leg of your front post double crochet two together just like so you're going to continue doing that all the way around and you're always going to skip those back post stitches so only work around the posts of those double crochets so front post double crochet two together all the way around
you may find that you need uh, to pull your stitches a little bit tighter to keep it tighter there around the top but just keep going all the way around When you come all the way around on your round uh, 13, you're going to have one final double crochet stitch here. You're just going to work a double front post double crochet stitch around that final stitch. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and I'll pull back so you can see what the hat looks like at this point. So that's what the top of your hat is going to look like. We're then ready to start round 14. And for round 14, you're going to chain one and you're now going to work a front post double crochet stitch around each stitch. So each stitch below is your front post double crochet stitches uh, two together. So your front post double crochet is going to be worked around that entire stitch. So it'll look like you're working around the two posts. So work your front post double crochet around the entire stitch. Pull it a little bit tighter because you do want to bring these stitches in to close your top a little bit more. Front post double crochet all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I'm just going to keep working around here because I'm almost there. stitches here to go one more front post double crochet and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch at this time you can fasten off leaving a long tail oh, sorry. And you're going to use that tail to sew the top of your hat closed so this is what your hat should look like I'll pull back here a little bit so you can see and we have this long tail and a little opening still here at the top so what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn needle and when I sew the tops of my hat closed, I like to just turn my hat inside out just a little bit and you're going to take your yarn needle and I thread my yarn in and out through the top stitches all the way around. This is going to create uh, almost a, sorry, I keep hitting my phone there, um, almost a drawstring effect up here at the top. So we're just weaving in and out through the stitches up here at the top. You'll want to go all the way around your opening, like so. And once you come all the way around, you can just pull it closed like that. So it's going to completely seal the top of your hat. Then at this time, I work a little bit of a knot just to make sure 
that it is secure. And then if you need to, you can use the rest of this yarn to sew a pom-pom on the top. Or if you want to fasten it off, you can just weave in your ends. Like so. Take your scissors, fasten off, turn your hat right side out, and that's the top of your beanie and laid flat. You can use uh, a palm if you'd wish or leave it without a palm. It still looks neat at the top without. And then it's all set for you to enjoy. So thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on my waffle stitch beanie. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.